Right now at 10, we're hearing from the people who ran to help after seeing this. A truck flipping down of one of the busiest streets in Jacksonville Beach. Driver of the truck that flipped survived a violent crash on 3rd Street. But a 21-year-old man driving the car involved was killed. Police say speed was a factor in the crash. People ran to help, but one witness told us that they could tell it was already too late. The car was wrapped around the cement telephone pole, and um, there was nothing anybody could do. News for Jack's reporter Eric Aubinier went to the crash site, and Eric, I know you talked to that man who tried to help the car's driver. Yes, I did, and his name is Tony Berry. He lives right across the street. He says right after he heard the crash, he and another neighbor, they ran across A1A to try and aid the driver of that red Ford Focus. But he says as they got closer, they realized the Ford Focus was wrapped around this utility pole, and as they got even closer, they realized the driver inside had died upon impact. A surveillance camera pointed north along 3rd Street captured the moment police say a Ford F-150 pickup truck collided with the red Ford Focus. The Focus then hits a utility pole and the pickup flips seven times before also hitting a utility pole. That pole fell and almost hit Cal Bramel's apartment. This was his view when he walked out the front door to check on the pickup driver. I saw him, he, had like, he started moving a little bit so I know he uh, was still alive. And then I saw someone running on the street, it was a female and a... She came in there and checked his pulse, that he had a pulse. Brooke Asher also heard the crash from across the street and ran outside. I didn't even see the white truck at first. All I could see was the red car, like, wrapped around the telephone pole. As Asher looked on, her neighbor, Tony Berry, and another neighbor are seen in this video running across the street to help the driver in the red Ford Focus. I went to the passenger door and looked in, and, and there was obviously, there was nothing that anybody could do for that person. Um, kid over here uh, tried to open the door and it wouldn't budge and, and went to the other side of the car and it was worse. It was, it was really bad. Barry says he spoke to the man in this video on the phone calling 911. He says the man is an Uber driver who witnessed the crash as it happened. He says he also spoke to another witness who told him the pickup passed her at a high rate of speed. She said she got on her phone and called her boyfriend and said this guy's going to cause an accident. And within seconds, he had caused an accident. Now, although we haven't been able to confirm this from police as of yet, Barry tells me that he also spoke with officers here at the scene that told him that prior to the crash, they were receiving phone calls about a reckless driver in a pickup truck here along A1A. Uh, but he said he says that they were looking for that driver. Of course, coming up to at 11, we're going to have more on this. And also, we're going to talk about speeding here on A1A near this crash site. Reporting live in Jacks Beach, Eric Avignet, Channel 4 the local station.